iterated deletion of dominated strategies. As I mentioned before, not all games have a strictly dominant strategy. However, there's another way we can use the concept of strictly dominated strategies to find equilibria. Let's say we have another two-player game. The players have choices A, B, C, and D. Player 1's payoff is negative 1 if players play B, D, 0 if they play B, C, or A, D, and 1 if they play A, C. Player 2's payoffs are 5 if they play A, C, and 2 if they play A, D, and Actually, there's no point in me saying what his payoffs are in the other two cases, because we already have enough information to find an equilibrium. But how can that be? It's simple. Player 2 knows Player 1's payoffs, and he knows that Player 1 is rational. So he knows that Player 1 will not play B because Player 1 is always better off playing A. B is strictly dominated by A, so Player 2 can ignore the possibility that B will be played so we can delete B as an option. Then we see that player 2 must choose C, as AC gives him a larger payoff than does AD. This might be a dominant strategy equilibrium depending on player 2's payoffs, but it doesn't have to be. Here's a more complicated example. There's no dominant strategy equilibrium here, but let's see if we can find an equilibrium by deleting the strictly dominated strategies. We can see that player 1 will never pick C because he's always better off choosing B, so let's delete that. Now, given that C has been deleted, F can be deleted also. AF and BF both give player 2 a payoff of 0, and he could get a payoff of 1 by playing G, so he won't play F. With F deleted, player 1 won't ever play A since he can always be better off playing B. That leaves player 1 playing B for sure, and player 2 can clearly see that he gets his highest payoff in BD, so he can eliminate E and G. So there you have it, an equilibrium. 